All right, welcome back to the homestead. You know, less than a hundred years ago, everybody grew food right in their own yard. They grew their own meat, their own veggies. They preserved food. <laughs> And then they slowly introduced the stores and they got everybody going to the cities for convenience. And now that Stacy and I used to live in the city and we chucked all of our city life and we moved out here to the country, I'm just going to walk you around a little bit and just try to explain to you the connection that you're losing spiritually, right? Big time spiritually. A lot of us are replacing our spiritual awareness and our spirituality with just going to a box on Sundays and dressing up. <laughs> it's become very hollow, right? And so 15 years ago when Stacy and I decided that we wanted to get rid of all that hollow stuff, the synthesized world, and try to get back to you know, God's design basically of growing food and living off the land and, you know, his provisions. He says that he will give us everything, right? The seed bearing plant and that's to be food for us and, and medicine for us. What's up? Some of you all were wondering about um, Abby, Abigail. Here she is right here. This is her. <laughs> she was our bottle f uh, fed uh, you that we raised up last year that a lot of you guys watched us hang out with uh, and watched her grow she's just a little cute thing now and her brother Thor is the one ram that stayed behind and today because it's such a joyous occasion I'm bringing you guys out on the homestead and we're gonna see the new babies that are dropping and I want you guys to realize too that when you do this lifestyle you know it's not all rainbow and unicorns because we had three babies actually hit the ground this morning three lambs and one of them uh, has already expired right so with livestock comes dead stock, so you have to be prepared for that as well. And that's just the way it, it crumbles sometimes. There's no fault of our own or, you know, nothing that anybody did. or It's just the way nature is, and it's just how it is. So well, let's go uh, look around right quick. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that you're missing out that's missing, helping. It's causing you to miss your spiritual connections. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> You hear all these frequencies out here? That's a one part of the equation that I think a lot of people put off. They don't understand, okay? The guineas making their noise. Listen to this, chewing of the cud. Right? There's a lot of frequencies out here when you're with the animals and you're on the earth grounding. Those frequencies help your body healing. Don't I'm not making this stuff up. That's why the scriptures are very clear. We are the stewards of the animals. We are to be with them. And each one has its own special healings, you know what I mean, frequencies. Just like, uh, have you guys ever heard about like uh, uh, horses being therapeutic, right? Like they take folks that are having disabilities out around the horses and the horses help with their disabilities, right? It's very therapeutic, very calming. There's an element to all this homesteading and all this stuff that I don't think a lot of people are grasping, you know? <laughs> That's why Stacy and I, we, have, we feel like we have a very complete lifestyle, okay? Because we have the healing of the animals, the frequencies, we eat from the earth, we believe in our scriptures. And now, because we got rid of all the noise, we, we're actually walking it out. And man, it's just amazing, like I'm right in the middle of all of it. Like, she's over there nudging her baby and... Uh, making her little growly noises, you know, so she knows that's the mom. And wherever they're at, they'll be able to communicate and they'll, they'll know that that's the pair.
they're trying to force us into this synthesized world where everything is made by man and they're trying to patent you as a DNA patent I mean there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes y'all because remember the enemy is here to steal kill and destroy definitely okay <laughs> steal kill and destroy and they have stolen the enemy has stolen so much from us and I'm on a mission right now, I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> I'm on a mission to help people wake up. You know, that's all. I just want you guys to wake up to what's going on in our government, you know, in our neighborhoods. The schools are becoming trash. Everything's becoming a propaganda machine. They're weaponizing everything. And you're the target. You're the target. And the reason why I talk about a lot of this stuff too is they're coming for this lifestyle. And I just don't know, you know, where all this is going to end, okay? But the one thing I know is uh, as, it, as it unfolds, I know that I'm doing our best. Stacy and I are doing our best to, A, keep awareness ahead of everybody so you guys don't get caught flat-footed. We're doing our best to advocate this lifestyle, right? We, we just we bust our hump putting out videos so you guys can see that this lifestyle is very rewarding. You never see us sick, right? So we're walking it out. You guys come to our events. You meet us in person. A lot of you have been to our house here on the homestead. And, uh, you know, you, you're seeing it firsthand being walked out. It's not just uh, videos on YouTube or anything, okay? We're showing you. We showed you for the last, like, 10, 10 years or something. It's crazy how time flies. But we showed you all these years. Some days I did videos every single day. Those are guineas right there awesome to have on the homestead some days i did videos every single day for like two and a half years so you guys could feel this whole lifestyle i totally tried to immerse you and a lot of that time was when stacy was working down in the city you know she was working for up till that big lie they unleashed on everybody and then we had to stand up for ourselves and she quit but up till then she was working every day so hanging out with you guys was kind of like you know not therapy or anything, but I just felt like we were hanging out, being buddies, homestead homies, you know what I mean? So we're gonna work, we got some workarounds coming, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna try to be able to talk about a lot more stuff because I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but they are censoring the heck out of social media, okay, big time. And Stacy and I have been censored on social media and they're gonna continue on with it because they're trying to drive home this narrative that they want everyone to follow one narrative. And so they're gonna slowly, you know, keep weeding out the scent. So I think we found a pretty good workaround for that where we're gonna bring you in depth, totally immerse you into our lifestyle, teach you this stuff like a crash course for next year, 2024. So stay tuned on that. I'm working on that behind the scenes right now. But I just wanted to share our morning here with you guys, our shalom. You know, we have so much shalom here. Uh, we grow 90% of our own food if you've never been here before. Right over there in that garden right there. We live 100% off rainwater, which is becoming more, more increasingly more <laughs> difficult. Because as I've documented in videos and paper and government testimony, they are spraying the skies. And that's affecting everything that we do too. So if you guys do read your Bibles and stuff... You know what's coming pretty much but you also have to be prepared and not scared and you have to be able to weather the storm so so we can be the testimony on the other side you get what that is all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little kind of different but i uh, just was sharing some of my thoughts and uh how we feel about all this stuff right if you got any questions leave them down below in the comments and that one was a boy for sure i'm not sure on the other one 
and the one that passed away, I'm going to go deal with that one right now. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay vigilant. Okay, 2024 is going to be a roller coaster.